Hey, Dad, here's an interesting sentence. The ice cream cone was invented in 1904. Unfortunately, paper napkins were first manufactured in 1931. Mmm, ice cream. I know. Wow, there's a lot there. Once again, if you want to work out this sentence for yourself, this would be a good time to pause, but don't forget to come back for our explanation. You're back! Let's start by looking at the parts of speech. Well, the is an adjective article. Ice and cream are both adjectives that modify cone. Was and invented are verbs. In is a preposition, and 1904 is a noun. Unfortunately is an adverb, paper is an adjective, and napkins is a plural noun. Were is a verb, first is another adverb, and manufactured is another verb. In is a preposition again, and 1931 is a noun. The next thing that jumps out at me is that there must be two clauses because we have a semicolon. Joining two closely related clauses is a common use of a semicolon. In the first clause, the simple subject is cone, and the simple predicate is was invented. In the second clause, the simple subject is napkins, and the simple predicate is were manufactured. The adverb first has been snuggled in between the two verbs. <laughs> snuggled in? All right. That may not be the best place for an adverb, but there's nothing grammatically wrong with it. And paper napkins first were manufactured in 1931 sounds a little awkward. Speaking of awkward, both of these phrases are passive, but that may be okay in this case. There is nothing grammatically incorrect about a passive sentence, but they tend to be lifeless and undramatic. The big tip-off on a passive sentence is an auxiliary verb, sometimes known as a helping verb, followed by the past participle of another verb. In this case, it's was invented and were manufactured. To make it more active, we need to rephrase it. George Bang invented the ice cream cone in 1904. Unfortunately, Scott Paper first manufactured paper napkins in 1931. Yeah, but wait a second. Now you've completely changed the sentence. I mean, on, on the positive side, it's now active. On the other hand, the sentence is completely changed with the extra information, and, and, and really the, the, the point is no longer clear. My great sentences often end up like that when you tear them apart. Well, when I tear them apart, you, you're being so mean to me all the time. I was just about to buy you an ice cream cone, too. Really? No, not really. But <laughs> you want to ice buy cream. me one? <laughs> there are a lot of ways to look at these sentences. Maybe you found something we missed. Or maybe Daddy got something completely wrong. Or maybe you have a question or a comment or a sentence to challenge us with. We want to hear from you in the comment section below. We're not the grammar police. We're just trying to figure this out like everybody else. So be kind to us and to each other. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to like us, pin us, or tweet us. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check out our other channel, Profs Pop, where we go on cultural and historical adventures. And there will be more good and well grammar videos coming soon.